Yo, how's it going guys? So, on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make uh, this glass effect inside the After Effects. It's a piece of cake to make it, I promise. And if you're interested, the project is in my address pack as well as the other previous projects. So, yeah, let's go. First, I'm gonna create a new composition. So, those right here are my settings. Just click OK. And I'm gonna copy the background okay that's pretty good and first i'm gonna click uh, right here select the like rectangle tool holding shift i'm gonna make a rectangle something like this control out home control home i'm gonna increase the roundness and okay that's pretty good i'm gonna click right here so this shape layer are gonna turn in the adjustment layer and the first effect I'm gonna add is the tint effect. Uh, change the black to white and put like 12 on the amount of tint. I'm gonna add also the compound blur and we're gonna need a uh, texture. And I'm gonna use this one right here. It's like a range texture. I'm gonna put like right here and I'm gonna hide it. You can put like right here uh, the texture and you can increase it to like 200. I'm gonna add a curves effect and make some adjustments. Okay, that's pretty good. And you can add the effect to select sweep right here. I'm gonna increase the width and can increase a little bit of the sweep intensity and uh, put zero on the edge intense. But again, the effects is like sweep, but on the sweep intensity, we can decrease it, increase a little bit of the width to make this effect right here. As you can see, if you want to, you can duplicate this layer, but for me, that's pretty good. And I like also adding a ellipse tool. I'm going to duplicate this layer right here, remove all the effects. So click right here, control A. And just erase it okay but this uh, uh right here go to city modes click right here and select the oh don't forget to remove this option right here and just select the rectangle tool you can add the gaussian blur remove this option and just increase it you can change a little bit of the color and you can duplicate this layer again and just put like right here, change a little bit of the color. And as you can see, it's done and it's perfect. I really like it. Uh, you can increase a little bit of the comp compound blur also to make like the texture less prominent, less visible, you know. And if you want to, you can invert the blur right here and the blur it's gonna be inverted and it's gonna be it's gonna make this effect right here so i really hope you like it please check my editors back it's really worth it thank you so much guys and have a good one